Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. Sorry for the sunglasses. It is early in the morning. The sun is rising, bright and beautiful. So I gotta wear sunglasses. Um, let's talk about a comment. This is a great comment. My wife, we're gonna talk about real estate. My wife and I are, are glad someone told us about you. Thanks for your down to earth bottom line info. Curious, a couple months ago or more, you mentioned home prices possibly rising due to a 40 year mortgage or 40 year mortgages. Are you still thinking that as a possibility or is it now history? Thank you. And just so you know, this comes from Gary. Hey, Gary, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for commenting. All right, yes, I do believe 100% that there is a plan to keep propping up this system, right? Why do they want to keep propping up this system for now? It's because they want what's called a slow burn. They want to slowly crash the system because what happens is um, people become lethargic. They, um, they get... Uh, bored of a narrative and they move on to something else. So there's a shiny object, a lure, you know, a squirrel go running out that way. If you guys know what movie that's from, put it in the comments below. And one of those things is to slowly keep propping up this economy, not only to take as much uh, away from the people, right? The world. And what I mean by that is the elite, they like to uh, uh, slowly take what's uh, real, real wealth. Land is real wealth. Gold and silver, precious metals, that's real wealth. Water rights, real wealth, right? Utilities of any kind, that's real wealth, right? And so what they do is they print up money and they mess with markets and they slowly buy up all of the assets of the world, right? Bankers have been doing that for centuries, right? But it's hitting fever pitch in the last 20 years, ever since uh, the dot-com bust in 9-11, all right? So I want people to understand that. So one of those tactics that they're going to use, and they did this in the 70s, and in the late 70s, 30-year um, mortgages, uh, or in the, in the 60s, 30-year mortgages weren't a thing, right? And the government made this switch alongside of the Federal Reserve, and they made 30-year mortgages a thing. And what happened was, you saw a bump in an increase in real estate prices, because what happened is the, the payments dropped significantly, right? Because the interest, on the loan is now amortized over a longer period, thus dropping the price dramatically. And what it does then is it causes speculation. People dive into real estate and they get buy up real estate that they normally couldn't have afforded in the past because now they can afford it because of a lower payment, right? So that is a real thing. Now I believe that you're about to see a 40 year. And one of the indicators that you're gonna see a 40 year is because 40 year mortgages first off are a thing, they're already out there, they've been out there for a long time. However, that mortgage product costs more. Uh, usually the interest rate doesn't make sense. It's actually darn near the same, it's actually more than a 30 year. Um, and so the payment doesn't make sense, right? It's actually the higher interest rate and you're going, well, you know, it's amortized over 40 years. My amortization schedule shows I'm gonna pay even that much more for the house in the long term if I make all my payments normally. So it's just not worth it. Well, what we've seen during this forbearance period, and I did some an interview with a uh, real estate attorney that was working with so many people during uh, this shutdown uh, with forbearances. And what he saw was very startling. We did an interview a while back. I don't even know if I could find it now. And that uh, one of the options were these people could get into a 40 year mortgage. And at the time, about a year ago, uh, banks were saying, hey, we'll give you an interest rate that essentially with uh, the full amortization schedule, you save about 200 to 300 bucks a month on your payment and you're not gonna lose your house. Now your credit score is screwed, right? Um, and so, which means you're pretty much stuck also because you stop making payments, your credit score is taking a hit. You're actually in, in jail, essentially financially. Your hands are tied. And so you have a correct credit score. If you don't want to lose your house, we have this option available. Um, we'll start the loan over, but it's on a 40 year and you're saving 300 bucks a month. And people are signing up for it like crazy. And I'm going, oh my gosh, this is a tragedy. But what I believe it's going to lead into is the Fed and the federal government pushing for this because what it's going to do is it's going to instantly have this euphoric feeling when they say, okay, as of right now, Fannie and Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae, sorry, uh, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, uh, those are government-backed uh, loan products, right, uh, companies, and they offer a 30-year mortgage uh, conforming, uh, you know, at certain rates, terms, all, all that stuff. We're now going to make those standard government-conforming loans amortized over 40 years, and what it means is, like, today's 30-year rate will be, like, the 40-year rate will now be the 30-year rate. And uh, it'll be a little bit more to see, you know, there'll be an adjustment because of a bond, the bond market. But what people understand, what need they need to understand is that uh, you're now more of a debt slave, but it's also going to cause real estate speculation like crazy. Now it won't happen at first. You'll be, I will literally be the only one on YouTube. You could say that was talking about it way before it happened. 
and it will have to force you, and I will be buying real estate if that happens. And the reason why is because there's a certain gap of profit that can be made in real estate when that happens, because as people go, well, wait a minute, I wanted that house down the street. I can't buy it right now. That's why the real estate market's starting to tank. They go, I, I can't afford it because not only has the house price went up so much, interest rates have gone up so much, right? Well, that could all flip tomorrow, literally, if the housing market starts to show weakness and the Fed's going crap. That's where everybody's wealth's tied up into. We can't let this thing go. We want this to be a slow burn. Let's turn them into a 40-year mortgage, right? We don't want this thing to crash anyway till you know, 2030. So let's, let's do this. Uh, let's turn it into a 40-year mortgage and then instantly everybody's payment will be relieved if they want. It, it's not gonna be an automatic thing. You'd have to go refi your house, but you will instantly be able to find yourself, you know, 300, maybe even $500, uh, sometimes even more than that, actually. I, a 40-year mortgage on a lot of people's loan products, depending on where the interest rate lies, they could be saving $1,000 a month, right? And now they're slaves, they're, their hands are tied for an additional 10 years, right, to debt. So think about how easy it would be to do that. Well, then what's gonna happen? Well, I couldn't afford that house the other day because it's too expensive and the interest rate's too high. Well, now, since it's amortized over 40 and the interest rate's still about the same as a 30-year loan, well, well man, that, I, I, I would buy that mansion and it would be the same payments I'm paying today and people will dive into it. And what's gonna happen is rampant speculation's gonna happen with real estate and then it, it'll cause uh, real estate to bump these same levels emotionally, mentally, and, and these, these uh, financial levels that are, they're, they're hitting right now. That makes sense. And so, yes, that is still on the table until it's not. And, and I'm gonna be honest with you, it's gonna always be on the table. We will eventually go to a 40-year mortgage. The only question is, will it happen before this crash? And I'm gonna be honest with you, I think it will. I really would be shocked if it didn't because that's low-hanging fruit from any, for any uh, central banker or policymaker uh, to be able to instantly give relief and it doesn't cost the federal government anything. They're just like, well, we'll back a 40-year loan at these current 30-year rates. And it ties the people up into debt slavery for an additional 10 years. Uh, it's a win-win for evil people, to be honest with you. And But the thing is, is you have to understand where they're coming from and why they're doing it. And then you have to adjust your, your portfolio uh, accordingly. So now look, none of this is financial advice, right? I'm not a financial advisor, I'm an investor. So I think like an investor, I think, okay, what can happen? What are the changes in the wind happening right now? The sea changes, whatever you wanna say. And then how can we make money from that? All right, I'm constantly doing that. I'm constantly thinking about that. So I think it's a very real possibility. So yes, that is still on the table. I really appreciate your comment. Um, and I'm so grateful for all of you, all of the ninja nation that are subscribing and hitting the thumbs up button because we're getting truth out. And it, trust me, this is not your normal uh, financial channel <laughs> because I'm just a dude with a bro hawk and a dream. All right, guys, that being said, I thank you so much for watching. The Economic Ninja is, no, you know what? Double snap is out.